Hey guys, we're doing it vlog style today, a little bit different from the usual gadget match flavor. The keynote for Samsung Impact just finished and we're outside Samsung 837 here in New York City to pick up our review devices. And in this video, I'm going to unbox the phone, move into it and use it as we take you around New York to see what the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is all about. Come on, let's go. Five minutes later. I got the goodies. Now let's go find a cafe so we can film a quick unboxing. Okay, we're outside Kovrick Coffee and we're going to take a look at what's inside this black box. See what our review devices are like. <gasps> we have them all. We have them all, guys. There's the Flip, there's the Fold, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. With all these goodies in front of me, the tendency is to want to dive into all of them at the same time, but we need to pace ourselves. Don't worry, all of these devices will have their own respective videos. I'll put the links down below. Today though, we're going to focus primarily on the Galaxy Z Flip 4. So this is it. And as you can see from this little bit of text, we have the Bora Purple Flip. And inside, you can already see how pretty it is. There's nothing here. All the goodies are actually on the flip side of the box cover inside here. You get a quick start guide, USB-C cable, and a SIM ejector pin. The Z Flip 4 now supports 25 watt fast charging, but it does not come with a charger in the box. Let's peel off this wrapper. Ooh, so nice. So if you'll notice, the phone actually has a nice matte finish to it. So it's like a creamy lavender color more than a bright purple. And now for the inaugural fold. Flip, flip. Several bad puns later. All right, I wanna get some coffee, but I wanna set the phone up first so that we can pay with Samsung Pay. Because this is a foldable phone, you have to take extra care of it, and here are some of the precautions. Don't remove the protective film. Try not to get anything in between the display when you fold it, and don't worry, it is IPX8 water resistant. All right, we're all set up. Time to get some coffee. I smoked too soon, I'm still setting the device up, but I think now is a good time to show you the 5G signal. I've chosen to set up and download all my apps over the air because we don't have a Wi-Fi hotspot nearby, but because the phone supports 5G, downloads are quick and snappy. Setup took up longer than expected. I downloaded my usual apps, set up Samsung Pay. The whole process took about an hour. The phone didn't come fully charged, so from 80%, it went down to 70. Okay, let's start with some initial impressions. Here's the Flip 4 side by side with the Flip 3. While they're roughly the same size, the bezels up front are a tad bit smaller. Notice the hinge too is also smaller. The front and back glass is Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and it now has a matte coating. And inside, its screen is 45% stronger than the Z Flip 3. And for those of you who asked on social media, yep, the crease is still visible. While we're here at the cafe, I also wanted to show you a couple of things. Flex Screen now works with more apps. So for example, notice these tools on Instagram. When I fold the phone at a 90 degree angle, the tools will move down here. So when I set it down on a table, I can keep the phone propped up like this as if it were on a tripod. And now I can scroll through my filters on the lower half of the screen. The camera app works the same way. Notice the tools are right here, but when I fold the phone, 
the tools move down to the lower half. Portrait Mode 2 comes to the cover screen, which is a welcome update since this is probably the best selfie camera in the market because the cover screen lets you use your main cameras for selfies. Two hours later. All right, it's about two hours later. We've had our coffee, we've had breakfast, but before we head out, I wanted to point out three things that I hope to achieve in this video. One, to check out all the new features of the phone. Two, keep track of the phone's battery. And three, do a little bit of a camera test, particularly how it performs at night. I started my photo comparison before brunch. I particularly want to compare the wide angle lenses because the Flip 4 has a new larger sensor. Immediately from this phone of Chai's pastry, the Flip 4's photo is crisper and brighter. The ultra wide angle cameras on both cameras are the same, but with software improvements, expect better looking photos like this one of my breakfast, where the Flip 4's photo punched up the colors more. I found that that behavior is consistent whether you're using wide or ultra wide. See these photos of me lack punch on the Flip 3's cameras. All right, time to go. Next stop, the High Line. One of my favorite spots here in Chelsea is the High Line. It's a raised park and a great place to take a walk, but also a great place to take some sample photos. So I'm going to do a Z Flip 4 versus Z Flip 3 mini smartphone comparison. It's very bright out and the Flip 4 is doing a better job of managing highlights. Notice this purple flower is not washed out on the Flip 4. Other shots came out much more similar. You know, I'm beginning to realize that the wide lens, even if they're both 1X, is actually wider on the Galaxy Z Flip 4, even by just a little bit. Portrait mode is improved too with Samsung's new AI stereo depth map. Notice how the Flip 4 was properly able to detect and cut out Chai's dangling pearl earrings. Okay, it's time to head over to Chelsea Market. All right, so we've made it to Chelsea Market. Uh, we wanted to wait till it was sunset, but that's not till five, six hours from now. So we decided to find somewhere darker where we could actually take some low light nightography samples. I took Chai down a dark alley and took these photos. Interestingly, the Flip 3's photo looks brighter, but the details, when you zoom in, are softer. Other times, like on this mural, the differences are not as stark. I have a feeling for the actual review, we need to go somewhere darker. Okay, one more shot. For our last shot, I'm gonna keep the phone propped on a table at an angle for a different point of view. All right, that's probably enough photos for today. After an hour photo shoot at the High Line and here at Chelsea Market, I probably added about another hour of screen on time to the Flip 4 and we are at 39% battery. Now it's time to catch the world premiere of a new BTS video. We have to hurry. So we're on our way to Times Square. We're in a bit of a rush because we're running late. Uh, the BTS takeover starts at 4 p.m. We've got about like 10 minutes to get there. And by, this, by the way, is a sample recording using the uh, main camera on the cover screen. Uh, we're shooting in 4K, uh, 30 frames per second. That was a bit of a run, but we made it. It's 3.50, we have time to spare. A few inches later.
we made it with minutes to spare. And if you look downstairs, Samsung has taken over a lot of the billboards here at Times Square. You see Unfold Your World, all those flip fours over there. And in a few minutes, BTS is going to launch the, uh, it's gonna be the world premiere of their new music video. And we're here to capture it with this phone. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but there are a lot of girls squealing downstairs on the street. We actually have a really great view from up here. Sorry we didn't include the music because I didn't want a copyright strike, but soon the video will be available on Samsung's YouTube channel. After the show, I caught up with some of my tech friends. Flex mode is such a great way to take selfies, although I wish I could use the cover screen in this mode too. I'm so glad we came because I was able to get my hands on this. This is a silicone cover with ring in my favorite color, blue. I was, I'm wearing blue today because I was kind of hoping that I would get a blue Z Flip 4, but I got one in Bora Purple, still nice. So I'm really thrilled that I can cover it up with a blue case. I get blue at the end of the day. Let's, let's open it up. Ooh, love the color. So it comes in two pieces. And I believe you peel these off like that. And this goes on top like that. There you go, blue phone. Now this case retails for $39.99, but if you pre-order today, apart from all the other freebies you get, including a storage bump, so if you buy the 256 gigabyte model, you get the 512 gigabyte model, you also get a free case. This could be the free case that you get. If you're interested, we'll put a link in the description box below. I also got to try out the new messaging feature from the cover screen. When the notification comes in, you can read a text message, and now you can respond with one of these auto replies but you could also record a custom reply using your voice. All right, we've got to call it a day. I have to head home and edit this video. But before we do, one final battery check. It's 4.15 p.m. and we're at 28%. Of course, I did a lot more today than I would normally do using the phone. So a real world battery test will be coming out in our review video. If you have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them in that review video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell notification so that you get notified as soon as we upload it. Still follow me on social media. I'll be posting photos as I continue to use this phone over there. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. From here in beautiful New York City, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.